I am a fellow of the Rotary Club International. I was conferred upon honorary also membership by the Rotary Club District 925 Governor Mrs. Jumoke Bagori in 2020. I was awarded with the prestigious Gold Award of Child Development and Women Empowerment. I was also awarded the Gold Medal prestigious gold award of humanitarian services by Rotary International. I appreciate, I'm not only a member, I'm a proud Rotarian. And we wear it on our sleeves by our actions. Rotarians don't hide, for Rotarians associate with good tidings to development and to the instant rules of Rotary Club. If you all know, the Rotary Club stands for development, stands for, now there have been correction in the services across. That will be detailed in the speech later. But on that we stand and we ensure that there is development with humanity and we act with the milk of human kindness. A Rotarian does not hide. Thank you very much. Today is another important day in our collective efforts at strengthening the primary health care scheme implementation in the federal capital territory as we are about achieving another milestone in community partnership and participation. The fact that the Rotary Club constructed and completed this primary health care facility to support health care delivery system in the territory is not a surprise to most of us because of its antecedents. The Rotary Club is no doubt an upright non-governmental organization that has stayed true to an unwavering commitment to saving, saving lives and saving humanity. The expansion of its program contents, as I said earlier, in 1978-79 to include health, hunger, and humanity through series of actions has no doubt led to landmark achievements in these three interrelated sectors, particularly with the scaling up of the oral polio vaccines administration for the eradication of polio maladies, not only in the Federal Capital Territory, but across the country. The Federal Capital Territory has benefited immensely from your wealth of experience, passion, and focus